All right, with a little bit of a lull in the action for the next couple of weeks, we've got two weekends until we have our next fight card. I figured this would be the perfect opportunity to start uh, a new segment, which I'm going to be calling Bad Combat News for the meantime. So I'm just going to go over what's happened this week and give my opinions on them. Uh, I've also got a video essay looking at the uh, whole boxing versus MMA debate, which is coming later on in the week. So look out for that. Right, so the week started out with John Jones sending out some really bizarre tweets before deleting them. Um, I actually think a lot more is being made of this than is really necessary. Is Jones back on the coke? Most definitely. Uh, it's his life though, and as long as he's not being allowed behind the wheel or beating up women, I'm not really that bothered. He is who he is, and if anyone's surprised at this point, I don't know what to say to you. All right, now, Connor made the headlines as well for making an argument that gobbing needs to be added to the UFC rule changes um, and that people should be deducted a point if they gob in the cage. All right, mate, uh, you know what? Just shut up and get back in the gym. This was such a stupid and pointless take. I don't know what's going through his head at times. What are we even doing here now? I don't really want to hear from him again until he has a fight booked. He really comes out of some stupid stuff. This is not a smart guy we're dealing with here. All right, so Paddy Pimlet got severely mugged off by Jared Gordon, uh, calling him out for a rematch while on a hospital bed. Very bizarre stuff. It's especially weird because obviously it's a fight he won on paper, which makes him look extremely weak, by the way. This was a really weird ramble. I really think this man is a nugget. Uh, the timing of this is very convenient to me as well. Gordon's due to face Bobby Green in the next few weeks. And I think Bobby Green's going to beat Gordon up. And then Pimlet will just be able to say, oh, he's not worth fighting anymore. I don't believe this fight is happening. Although it should. And again, this is just hot air. I really dislike Pimlet and I can't wait to see him get bonged when he gets back. All right, so Mirab has responded to Corey and it looks like that fight's going to be made next as I predicted it would before the Corey fight. I said he'd win and then I said whoever wins that fight would be Mirab's next victim. I think the little goblin wins, but Corey has a good chance. He looked good. He looked very good against Vera, who I don't really think is that great. But Mirab then called it a title eliminator, which was really, really funny to me. He's not going to be fighting his boyfriend. So again, he just needs to be quiet. Be a man and beat up your friend. Go for that belt and stop cucking. Uh, July would probably be really good for this one though. I don't think it's a great fight for Corey, but I give him a, I give him a decent shot in it. Uh, I hope he does get it done. All right, Cejudo and Aljo had a funny little back and forth with DC in the middle. Uh, I really find DC's segments like this very, very hard to stomach. Like, he, not, I'm not a big fan of these segments. But uh, this one was pretty funny. Um, I've been very, very vocal about how good I think Aljo is. And I've been saying he's going to win. And I don't want people to mistake me. I think Henry Cejudo is it, an amazing fighter. I just, you know, for me, I think the, the layoff he's going to have before he gets back in there is a lot to ask. But to be honest... This little segment started to put a little bit of doubt in my mind. You know, Henry comes across with great confidence. Uh, he clearly feels that, I don't know, he just has a way of getting under people's skin. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. I'm. There's a chance I may have some back and forth on this in terms of where I think it's going to go over the next few weeks, but we'll see. All right, uh, rumors are that Nganu is going to be fighting Derek Chisora. Uh, Jesus, uh, he really has fucked his career up. If Chisora, if Chisora manages to beat him, which he absolutely could, especially in a boxing ring, it's basically over for Nganu. And I'm actually starting to feel a bit sorry for him. He must have had some shocking offers on the table. For it to be end up being Chisora is just pretty embarrassing at this point. Chisora is a decent scrapper, a decent boxer, but yeah, this matchup is bizarre. I guess as maybe like a litmus test of seeing where Nganu is, you know, it could be interesting from that perspective, but I can't imagine he's getting that much money, and this one seems bizarre to me. Uh, anyway, if Nganu can win it convincingly and he really needs to, who knows, but it's not looking very good for his career. 
All right, now in more positive stuff, uh, there's a rumor going around that uh, Paolo Costa has finally secured the bag. The rumor is that he's getting $1 million a fight on his new contract. I find that very, very hard to believe. I think he was on 70 and 70, if I'm not mistaken. So $1 million seems like a massive jump up to me. And I, I don't really much believe it. If he was... If it was something like 250, I might be more convinced. But I hope this is true because I absolutely love Paolo. Uh, I think he's hilarious. If you're not on his Twitter, I've thrown up a quick example here. You um you need to jump on it because it, the guy comes out with just the funniest shit. He's got one of the best Twitters I've ever, and I'm not a Twitter user, but I occasionally pop in to see what Costa's doing because he's just hilarious. Um, now finally we got some really great fight announcements. We've got Big Money Moik is fighting Sarukian. Uh, this is kind of a blessing and a curse for me. Two of my favorite fighters at the weight class, but I'd rather see them fight other people. I am looking forward to it. At this moment, I'm siding with Armin. I think he's amazing, but again, big money Moik wins. Can't complain about that. Uh, in Bellator, uh, two fights were announced. We've got uh, Nemkov versus Romero for the belt. That was announced. Uh, and... Uh, I don't really cover Bellator, and I do watch it, so maybe I should start doing some more Bellator cards as well. It's just that most of them are horrible. Uh, I think that Nemkov probably wins that fight. Some really good announcements coming up, some really good fights coming up. I will keep things appraised. I'll keep up with the news. I'm gonna... Yeah, I've got that video essay of boxing versus MMA coming up at some point in the week, so look out for that. Have a really great week, and yeah, you'll be seeing me again before the weekend. That's for damn sure. Um, it's kind of a nice feeling to have a two week layoff to be honest I, uh, I've got some stuff to do but I will keep active see you guys later